Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about making money with Facebook. Welcome to Thriving Launch with Luis Congdon and Kamala Chambers, the show for heart-centered entrepreneurs who want it all. Five days a week, we bring you different segments to inspire you to live a life of freedom. We interview the leading experts in the field of business, health, and love. Be sure to check out Training Tuesdays, where we give you a clear action plan to grow your own business. How would you like to be able to interview world-class experts? Sit down and have chats with people like Jack Canfield, Marion Williamson, Robert Kiyosaki, Tim Ferriss, you name it. Would you love to interview other people that you really admire and consider to be your heroes? Well, we've created a course for you that teaches you how to podcast, how to set it all up, and how to get going so that you can really have a successful show and you can do it properly. Over at thrivinglaunch.com, we have a podcasting course and it's there for you, waiting for you to snatch it up. So head on over to thrivinglaunch.com and let me teach you how to podcast the right way. How to make money on Facebook organically. That means no paid traffic, nothing used as far as money for exposure. So you're not paying to get attention. Instead, you're just using it organically, whether it's through Facebook groups, your friends lists on Facebook or your followers on Facebook. It's just an organic method. I really believe that, uh, you know, when it comes to your business, you need to have multiple arms of your business. And right now, Facebook organic is something that a lot of people aren't tapping into. But those of us who are, are finding incredible results from it. And it's a really awesome way to make sure that every time you're logging into Facebook to read your timeline, to post stuff, you can also be profiting. So that way you can scale the business, but also when you're just wanting to enjoy Facebook, that can even be part of your business and you can be paid just to be on Facebook as a normal user. So one of the first things I want to tell you is when I first started my business, and I've probably mentioned this several times already to you, but when I first started my business, I was very broke and I needed free and easy methods to get my business out there, to get my services out there, to get clients and to get hired. And that's where Facebook Organic really came into play for me. And I studied a lot of people and started watching and noticing that there were some people who were using Facebook to profit. And some people were making a lot of money right in front of my own eyes with just Facebook posts, just regular old posts, status updates. So one of the first things I want to tell you when it comes to this, if you want to start making money on Facebook organically, one of the first things you can start doing is start posting, start sharing and be active. Don't just share like once a week, but share at least once a day, if not two or three times a day. What this will do is it'll start getting you more exposure. Getting the attention of people is very important when it comes to profiting because if nobody knows who you are and nobody knows what you do or what you serve, then no one's going to go, I should give you money for the services that you're providing because they don't know who you are. So one of the first things you need to start doing is start posting regularly. Now, a lot of times when I tell people this, they say, well, I don't get a lot of likes. I don't get a lot of comments. Well, one of the reasons probably why you don't get a lot of likes or comments is because you don't post very often and you don't share very often. And then people will say, well, I am sharing often, but I still don't get a lot of likes or I still don't get very many comments. Don't worry about that because think about it this way. When you log into Facebook and you scroll through how often do you give a like or how often do you share someone else's status or how often do you comment? I know that when I'm logging into Facebook, I could read 10 different posts and know what's happening in, in all those 10 different posts, but I didn't like or comment or share or interact with that post beyond just reading it. So one of the first things that I want you to start doing is start sharing and don't worry about the likes or the comments because you're still going to get impressions. Now, really briefly, an impression is just when someone sees it, when someone reads it, when someone sees something, they get an impression, right? And Facebook doesn't allow us to measure that, not, not if we're not paying for it. But when we're doing stuff for free, we don't need to be reading the impressions. We don't need to be doing all that. We just need to be posting often and regularly. And I want you to switch it up. Don't just post everything about like what you've eaten or that you're going to the movies or you know opinions that you have about things. I want you to still do that. But I also want you to start posting about your business. What have you been up to? What successes have some of your clients had? 
what are some of the really cool things that are happening in your business that you want to share and brag about by sharing this stuff often on Facebook, people will start seeing how great you are. People will start seeing what services and business uh, opportunities you offer. And, you know, I've had this experience where I posted something like, Hey guys, I want to let you know that we create podcast websites for anyone who's interested in a website that's optimized for their podcast. And surprisingly, nobody liked it. Nobody commented, right? I was a little surprised, but even more surprising is I had two people reach out that same day and they said, Hey, Luis, I want to hire you to design my website. That was over $4,000 generated from that one post from two different people coming in because they saw a post, but they didn't like it. They didn't comment. They didn't do anything with that. But then they private messaged me, right? Sometimes what happens is I'll create a post and I'll say, Hey, you know, I was, I was out and about today with my family and you know, this and that happened. I'll share a little story, right? It's not made to make a sale and that might get more comments, more likes. But then what will happen is someone will message me and say, hey, I really like that you're really like involved with your family and it's really cool and I've been following you. And I noticed that you do stuff with podcasting. I'm curious, what is that? Or, hey, where can I learn more? Right. So by mixing it up where it's not just all sales and all me, me, me and my business, where it might be some stories and something personal and things that are happening and updates that are a little bit more typical for Facebook. When I mix it up like that, I'm able to garner the attention in a variety of ways of potential clients and also just connect with people in a variety of different ways because people will buy from you once they like you and once they trust you. And sometimes for people, they want to know that you're a real person behind that screen. They want to know that you have a family or that you're really into dogs or whatever it might be, right? But I I just, today's, the whole point of today's talk is I want you to start getting out there, start posting and start letting people know about your business or your offerings and then mix it up with different things that you're up to and start telling stories about your clients and maybe some successes that you've had, maybe some struggles that some of your clients are going through, but start posting often. And trust me, this is going to help you immensely you know, when I first started, I was posting at least two to three times a day. I know it sounds like a lot and it sounds like, whoa, you might alienate your readers or people may not want to read you as often because you're posting so often. And you know what? So what? If somebody unfriends you or unfollows you because you're posting a lot, that's good. That's really good. That means they're probably not going to be a a good friend or a good connection for you or B, they're not going to be a good client for you or C, maybe they need to come back later And they're just not ready for what you have to offer for who you are, but at least they know about you, right? So don't worry about posting too much. My biggest concern about people when they first start getting into how to make money from Facebook and doing that organically when they first get into these methods, my biggest worry about them is they're not posting enough. They're not sharing enough vulnerable information about them. They're not sharing about their business enough and letting people know what they have to offer. They're not sharing enough success stories and client testimonials. So get out there, start sharing more stuff and tune into next week's where I'm going to talk even further and deeper into how to profit from Facebook and how to use Facebook to make money so that you can leverage Facebook to make money without having to buy ads, without having to create a crazy funnel or anything complicated, just real simple stuff. Because I think that regardless of what industry you're in, if you're a health coach, if you're an expert, if you're a consultant, if you're somebody that offers done for you services, if you are somebody who's serving other people, then Facebook is something that I think that you should be using and utilizing and you can start using it in the free version of the platform. You can go and pay for it as well. But now when you combine those, you have this well-oiled machine that is working for you and it's kind of like a like an octopus, right? You have multiple tentacles out there for you. So you're buying ads if you want. You're using a podcast. You're using a blog. You're using Facebook. So all the time you're generating leads and all the time, uh, even if you're using Facebook just for fun, you're still able to use it and have it make you money. So that's it for today's episode. Get out there, start posting, start sharing, and don't worry about sharing too much. Just get out there and start letting people know who you are, what you do, what you're excited about, who your clients are, and uh, I'll catch you on tomorrow's episode. And if not, I'll catch you next week's episode where we're going to talk more about Facebook. 
You've been listening to the Thriving Launch Podcast. For books and resources related to today's episode, make sure to head over to thrivinglaunch.com. We'll see you there. Hey, be sure to tune in to the next episode. It's going to be a training Tuesday where we're going to talk about how to create joint venture partnerships to grow your business without having to spend money on ads and by just through creating relationships. We have Sohail Khan coming on. And just so you guys know, whenever you subscribe to our show, when you rate us on iTunes uh, and you leave us a review, all of that really helps and it helps keep our show going. So please take a little bit of time today and go over and do that. It really helps. Thanks so much.